Hey Scrappers, welcome back to another video. In today's video, there's nothing really that special. I'm just sorting out all my uh, gold that I've been putting aside that we have acquired through the dismantling of all the waste that we've taken apart thus far. Um, what I will ask though, if any of the more, the more experienced scrappers out there could tell me are these fingers here, are they silver or are they just a form of, you know, nickel plating or something like that? And any help would be greatly appreciated. And also, what these type of IC chips are. Are they just ICs or are they something special? Um, and for those who try to take off IC chips, I was messing around yesterday and found that if you could take a small craft knife or a knife like this and cut along the base of the pins like so you can pretty much get them off relatively intact but as I say be careful when you're using a knife like this because if you slip you could end up shooting yourself quite substantially as for me I have anti-cutting gloves so I could do that all day and it wouldn't go through these gloves. <laughs> Nick Minute. Bleeding hand. But yeah. So as you can see there's quite this is just where we put all the gold into our containers as as we take everything apart. There's some nice gold fingers in there as you can see. And these gold corner BGAs, if you take the the Bakelite cap off, do you risk taking all the gold with it? Have I ruined this this BGA by doing so? Or do you strip the Bakelite cap off before you put it into the you know gold recovery solutions and stuff so on? Could you please let me know in the comments? Thanks. Where's this gonna go? Just gonna get the So I see that um, the majority of PCs that have taken apart, this seems to be the new norm, whereas the old, older PCs, the bigger units, the bigger towers seem to have all the gold pins still. There's some more gold finger, I assume these are ram sticks, I'm not sure. So if I strip this Bakelite cap off, have I essentially ruined the gold or any form of gold recovery underneath this? I'm not sure that could just be gold, you know, gold flashing, not worth a huge amount, but, you know, every little bit counts. It's also quite incredible how quickly, when we're dismantling e-waste, how quickly everything stacks up. I mean, this is what, probably a month's worth. Uh, where do we just grab a container? So I cut all these um, plugs off, I can't remember the name, I have seen the name, um, RJ45 I think is the name of these, maybe, 
um, these category six, I believe, data cable. Um, I haven't, as of yet, seen how easy it is to try and remove these gold plated pins out of here. Um, I mean, now's as good a time as any, I guess. That's going to take a little bit more pondering on how to remove that in a nice, easy, cost effective, time effective way. So unlike these big data cables, with the 6 pin or 7 pin plugs, I don't worry about the, the phone jack ones, like the 2, two and 3 ones, I don't, I don't see, like this, the same shape as this, but with only like 2 or 3 pins in the middle, I don't really think, in my opinion, that's worth the time and effort, as you saw, it was quite difficult cutting through that big hard, the hard plastic, so gold on there So it's possibly looking like the um, another flat pinless CPU um, that the lockdown will be extended. We will be getting an update at three o'clock New Zealand time. Ah, I also take apart capacitors as well, like just the size and stuff, as you can see here. There's a whole container full of them you know when I get bored at night sitting inside just put on a pair of um, latex gloves or nitrile gloves rather and just take a small little knife uh, for those of you who are interested if, if you're that you know meticulous about recovery so I essentially just cut down the middle of the capacitor to be able to shell off. And then what I do is take a, a pair of blunt flush cutters and I proceed to peel back the shell, pull out the middle part and then they can go into aluminium. So, for any of you who are interested in wanting to take the pipe capacitors, that's how I do it. seeing these very fine gold pins I've also just chucked in here because quite it's just easier I mean when you're demand, dismantling stuff it's easy just to chuck it all into one you know like for like into one container and sort it out from there rather than you know going back and forth 
you know, what do I do with this? What do I do with that container? Where's this container? And before you know it, you're like, nah. So these are the phone jack ones here in New Zealand. Sometimes they'll have just two pins. Sometimes they'll have three. I just cut them out at four. I don't bother for the two or three ones. Without knowing how to properly take each one apart, it's just too time consuming for the small versions. And also, another question, with these blobs here, do you have to remove them before you put it into the gold recovery solution, or can you just drop it in and, you know, it'll eat the gold and leave everything else on the circuit board? Or is there gold under there as well? You could also let me know in the comments, I'd be much appreciated. So what I'll do is I'll carry on with this off camera, get it all nice and sorted, and then I'll just do a little finishing video at the end when they're all in their containers and it's all nice and neat and not looking so much like a dog's breakfast. Catch you soon. Welcome back guys. So after close to an hour in real time, I finally got everything sorted. As you can see, this just you know, random bits out of cell phones and stuff that I'm not too sure where they might go. BGAs, pinless CPUs, gold fingers, and then the pretty much the pins out of the plugs and everything like that. As I said, and this one nice. You can see that. I'm not sure if you can. Gold fingers in there. And my gold foils, mainly out of ribbon cables and plasma screen TVs, and then the jacks for the uh, sheesh, I can't think of the name at the moment. Servers. And last but not least, the pin CPUs. So, I hope that was a bit of fun. I'm not sure you guys will find it very entertaining as, you know, sorting through all this stuff is not, you know, it was very laborious at times, but it has to be done, unfortunately. As I say, sometimes it's just easier to throw into one big container as opposed to, you know, going back and forth every time you come across a bit of gold and everything like that. So in the future, yeah, as you can see, Still quite a bit of a junk pile to get through. You know, screens, office printers, keyboards, UPSs. I'd really like to get into those big CRT televisions and get rid of them. Various servers over here. And my junk pile. 
I'd also like to start on this big, big photocopier too. There'll be some awesome copper recovery in there out of the step-up motors. So the stepper motors and various other things. There's bound to be a decent amount of gold in there too in comparison to other things for the ratio. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Keep safe. Catch you on the next one. See ya.